Hello and welcome in a new video with the trade with a T. Uh, this video is a part of series of four episodes that will follow. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the strategy that is implemented in Step Ahead EA. Uh, then this episode, next episode, we're going to talk more about the EA itself, how we can configure it, what are the parameters inside it. The third episode, we're going to talk more about how generally to optimize an EA. What should we take into consideration? Uh, what we should have always in mind when we do this so we can obtain the best performance uh, configuration that will work in live trading later on. All right, let us talk a little bit about the strategy by itself. Uh, the idea is to define a range with a start of the range, end of the range on a specific uh, pair, uh, define the high, define the low, and set a buy stop and sell stop with a defined stop loss and a defined take profit. In the EA, step head EA, you have all those parameters that I have mentioned that are there and you can work on their optimization for different type of pairs. For example, what I found working well for USDGPY is a range that start at seven at midnight GMT plus two till 7 a.m. And a stop loss base equal, equal to the range while risking 1% of my account and letting the take profit run till uh, the London closure at 18. Maybe in your strategy or the way of your, your trading, you're going to set different parameters. For as example, for the take profit, let's say you're going to set one to two risk to reward ratio or one to three or one to one. It's up to you. Uh, you're going to also decide what happens to uh, the, let's say in, the, in our case, the buy stop is triggered. What happens to the sell stop? Should I keep it? Should I remove it? All of those parameters are available in step ahead. And we're going to see the optimization of those parameters in video number four. All right, now I now you know the uh, essential elements for this trading strategy and how Step Ahead uh, would use it. Uh, let me do a small simulation for the last 10 years uh, data uh, for USDGPY based on uh, parameters uh, that I have uh, optimized so far uh, using a $10,000 as starting uh, balance. <coughs> and a one lot for each street. As you can see here, we have a good equity curve over the past 10 years. If I go more into the details, we are on a history quality of 100%. We're doing 77,000 net profit. We have a low drawdown, very good recovery factor, very good profit factor. So overall, it's a very good strategy to go with. Now we have demonstrated that strategy. Uh, don't miss up the next session. Uh, where we're going to talk more about the different parameters we have and step ahead EA and how you can use it. Thanks a lot. Don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and activate the notification so you can receive the newest video from our part. Thanks.